I joined Akash in 9th standard. Mm -hmm. So I joined early. I gave Anthony an 8th standard. Pretty much a game changing moment for me. Now I'm competing all across India. Welcome to 9th and 10th channel of Baijus. I'm your teacher Ranketa and in today's class we will be discussing something really very important and I would say that we'll be discussing something that we really or we can say we often do that is the daydreaming. So in today's class we will be discussing that what exactly the daydreaming is and which part of our body right we know that it will be related to brain but let's understand more about the daydreaming. Now, such a very, very interesting topic. I hope that you are really, very excited as I am to discuss about the daydreaming with you guys. So, what is daydreaming? Now, I'm sure when you, when you sit for your studies, right, there are times when you go into the beautiful worlds of daydreaming. We imagine ourselves drifting away from the main task and thinking about something really very not so real away from a little bit from the reality but still we are a part of it and in the daydreaming we achieve lots and lots of things. So we can say that daydreaming is future thinking, creative thinking and something which is related to the future. Now our brain works right and of course when we start daydreaming there are a lot of thoughts that are there in our mind. They come together and they create an amazing future. Now daydreaming, we cannot say that it's bad. It's definitely really very good for our mind. Let's understand that what are the benefits of daydreaming. When we talk about the daydreaming, right, it actually helps us to relax our brain because the thoughts are really flowing without any much efforts. So for example, you're just sitting, right, and you are enjoying your daydreaming. For example, tomorrow you have a test. Let's, let's not consider that you have a test. Let's suppose that you are sitting in a class and outside it's raining. And maybe the teacher is not teaching at that particular time and you are just sitting there and you are thinking about the hot, yummy food that your mother has cooked for you at home right and this we goes into the thought of you know oh, we'll be eating that yummy food oh that's my favorite food today it actually helps our brain to relax because the thoughts are freely flowing there's no tension about it any of these thoughts right so it's very free flowing then of course it enhances the creativity when we are daydreaming we are kind of above from the right from the rest of the things that are happening and then we think from our mind right because we always think of our mind but there are times when we are daydreaming we think out of the box maybe you are working on a project and maybe your classmates are just working and looking at uh, the particular project in one particular way but when you are thinking more and about it right you are coming up with an amazing idea of course, that is happening because you are thinking more about it, you are dreaming about it, right? In a such a way that there's no pressure over there to think in a certain way. So that's definitely enhance the creativity of our brain. Then of course, it reduces, it reduces the anxiety. Now of course, there are times when we feel anxious about our examination or maybe we feel anxious about the next day competition and there are so many occasions that can give us a little bit of anxiety. When we start about uh, thinking about them, right, there are times when you feel, oh, I am not able to do it. What will happen? Is it right or is it not correct? But don't worry, the brain will take care of it. So when, uh, for example, if you have an occasion or a situation where you're not so sure about it, what happens at that time? Our brains, our brain usually tells us, just relax, right? And we start thinking about, okay, I will be scoring really good in today's examination. I have covered each and everything. Every information is in my brain. You can quickly recall things. And of course, it actually helps our body and of course, our, our brain to reduce the anxiety. 
and most importantly the daydreaming actually help us to solve the real life problem so whenever you are stuck in any of the situation in life if you take a step back and if you start thinking more about it right in a very uh, very healthy way what will happen you will be able to find a solution of most of the problem that we have so so daydreaming is definitely not bad for health in fact it is really really very good for our health so we can say that daydreaming is all about drifting from the reality but still are aware about the reality we are just moving away from the reality for some time of course we'll be back into the reality but we when we daydream that actually help us to tackle our reality situations right we can definitely work on or work on them and we can definitely have benefits of the daydreaming now that we are clear with that let's go inside the brain and let's understand that what causes the daydreaming so our brain is very active right and it want to focus on the various things that are happening for example if you're sitting idle if you're not doing anything there is a part of our brain that is the default brain network now what happens when we're not doing anything when we're just sitting idle or on a rest there are different regions in our brain that will get activated and of course over there we have different thoughts right and these thoughts will be moving and will have connections and that causes the daydreaming so definitely they are not bad for our health so we are clear with this right now in opposite to the daydreaming we have the night dreams and this is something we all are kind of fascinated about how the dreams comes what is the significance of that but we'll not be going over there we will be understanding what is the scientific reason behind it when we talk about the night dreams definitely they are different now in that particular time during the night our body is at rest right now we are sleeping the moment we goes into the sleep we have the sleep cycle starting right and of course what happens is a rapid eye movement happening now that in the initial bits right initial minutes of our sleep when we fall asleep our brain gets activated and of course the thalamus brain stem and the cortex right all of these comes together like a really very really activated and of course then we have the night dreams there are times when we wake up in the morning and we remember the dream and there are times right even if you want to remember the dream there are times you will be struggling to remember that so that's happens with our brain but that's perfectly okay dreams actually are a way to tell us that how our day was the things that we really want to do or the things that we really want to accomplish comes to us through our dreams so what we can do for sure is to daydream but if you feel that you are daydreaming a lot and lot and if you're not able to focus on your examination or on your studies what you can do you can easily stop the dream de- uh, day dreaming by keeping yourself busy so we know that the day dreaming will be happening if the brain is idle or the brain is not focused on something so what you need to do start studying get focus over there so i would say that day dreaming is definitely good all the good scientists all the amazing artists right they must have day dreamed about the various scenarios of various situation in their life right i'm sure they must have thought about lots and lots of things during their day dreaming and what made them successful is that once they had an idea about it they came back to the reality and they worked upon it that's how their dreams become successful so i hope that you got that dreams are really very good but we have to make sure that we are working for our dreams with that i would say bye bye but before that let's quickly talk about the ante examination many of us right have a dream of becoming a engineer or a doctor or maybe any other profession this examination that is akash national talent hunt examination which is for grade 7 to 12 gives us an opportunity to move a little bit closer to our dream this examination actually help us to analyze our subjects our knowledge about them and actually help us to take or pick a stream according to that 
So don't wait for anything. Register yourself. The link of this particular examination is in the description below. Click on it, register yourself and you will have the examination. There are two modes of the examination, online mode and the offline mode. You can pick any mode according to your convenience. And if you register yourself and if you clear the examination, you are used and a chance to go to the NASA. And apart from that, you can win 100% scholarship. So that will be really very interesting. So don't daydream about it. Now take a step towards the and the examination. And if you haven't joined our Telegram group yet, take a movement, click on the link in the description below and join the Telegram group. And as we always say, we have got you covered. So believe in us. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel of yours where we discuss about subjects and of course we discuss something really very interesting science. So I would request you to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button. We will be meeting in our next class where we'll be discussing more about amazing science behind things that are happening around us. Till that time, take care of yourself and keep on learning with Baijus.